Well, we succeeded in lowering the quantity of kudzu bugs and adjusting other parameters in our test case. And we have a new graph to look at. What do you think now? So it looks like the kudzu bug and kudzu are creating a predator-prey cycle. As the population of kudzu grows really fast between months 0 and 5, the population of kudzu bug grows really fast after 5 months, causing the kudzu population to decrease. This pattern repeats. This is a very stable cycle between kudzu and the kudzu bug. What do you mean by predator prey? So the predator in this case, the kudzu bug, eats the prey, kudzu. And because the predator, the kudzu bug, takes a little bit of time to digest and incorporate some of the nutrients from the kudzu into its body, you get this kind of cyclical hump and then another hump. This is a classic example of a predator prey cycle that we can see here. But still, the American hornbeam can't survive in this cruel world. Is there any other way that all of our species can live in harmony? Spencer, I think I've got an idea. Do you remember when they brought goats to campus? So when they brought goats to campus, it was inspired by these 1920s farmers that figured out that their cattle, their sheep, their goats, and their cows really liked eating kudzu over other plants. Maybe we can take those species and use them to control the kudzu. Well, I know in my neighborhood they brought in goats to get rid of some of the overgrown vegetation. So if we can make, take advantage of the benefits of the goats, uh, it may allow us to have the hornbeam survive. That could work. So if we introduce a species that prefers kudzu over other plants, it may solve the problem. To see what happens when goats are used instead of the kudzu bug, clone the kudzu model and add the word goat to its name. In the clone model, replace the kudzu bug component with a new component called the domestic goat. To get its parameters, you can use the Encyclopedia of Life. Select the goat from the drop-down and click Apply. A new dark blue component is created for you. Change its color to lavender to distinguish it from the hornbeam. Notice the parameter values have been supplied for the goat. Indicate that the goats eat both kudzu and hornbeam by adding consumes relationships. You can see that relationships like components have parameters.